Hello and welcome to the C Manager tutorial series. This is chapter 2 and in this one I'm going to show you around the interface. We're going to create some setups and assign camera and resolution information to them. And last but not least, I'm going to show you what options do you have in the settings menu. So stay tuned. So before we start, I would like to thank Andras Vila from Brick Visual for sharing this awesome Milwaukee Museum model from Calatrava. And also special thanks to Nuno Silva for providing the source of his beautiful image called Hope. And this was made for the first render challenge organized by Fabio. First of all, let me show you around the interface. So all of the properties are grouped into these uh, modules. You can see we have camera, resolution, sand dome, a lot of environment settings and you can see all of them listed on the left side in this little toolbar so by clicking on it you can enable or disable them there are a few that you can resize and you can resize the entire interface so you can create a layout that fits your current project the best but for our little tutorial, let's just switch off the ones that we don't need currently and let's stick to the first two, which is the camera and the resolution. There are multiple ways how you can create a new setup. The most manual way is to just press uh, the create empty setup plus button. So let's create a few of these. And you can activate one by just clicking on it. And you see after you activate it, the, both of these modules become active, so now I can change the properties of this. So let's select the camera for our first setup. You can just click the drop down and select one of from your scene. And you will see that once we selected, the viewport will change to our selected camera. Let's continue doing this for the rest of the setups. Perfect. And you will notice that if you click through these, the camera will change each time we activate one. And it's a very nice way to view what we have so far. You also have two other options uh, for the camera. If you would like, you can select it and then change the properties. Or you have the option to lock or unlock the camera. So you see now it's locked, so I cannot move it. If I would unlock it, then I can move it around. By default, the simulator will use the resolution from your render settings. Of course, you can easily change that by defining a new width or height in the resolution module. So let's try out a few options. Okay, so now you can see that while we are clicking through, we're changing both the camera and the resolution, which is pretty nice. You have the, also the option to control the aspect ratio by just tuning this little slider. And if you're happy with the results, you can even lock it. So let me show you two other ways how you can create setups. First of all, let's delete all of these. And um, to get to the same point with one click, you can just press the create a setup for every camera button, which is quite nice if you have a lot of predefined cameras in your scene. With one button, you can just organize it here inside the scene manager and you can start modifying their properties. There is another way if you would say that you would like to create a camera and also a setup for it automatically you can just press the create a new camera button and it will create a new camera and also a setup together now you also have the option to duplicate one or more um, selected setups you can also delete the one or more selected setups with the bin icon now you can create batch previews or start a batch render you can colorize your setup rows and we have some handy shortcuts so if you would press ctrl n then you can create new setups 
You can also duplicate by pressing Ctrl D. You can invert your selection by pressing Ctrl I. And we have a special select similar function that requires you to control click on the header of the table and this way for example if you would select this one and you would control click here it will select all the ones that has the same color if you control click on the camera then it will select all that has the same camera name or if you control click on the resolution then it will select all the resolutions that are as the same value now we also have some settings that I would like to show you. So if you go to the menu, settings, we have a couple of options here. So by default, the theme is set to light, but since uh, the latest version, we have a dark theme. You have some viewport settings, uh, which means that by default, it will always switch the currently active viewport. So if uh, I would have this viewport selected and if you go through the setups you will see that it will switch that um, viewport camera. The second one is that we will only switch the active viewport if it's a perspective, a camera or orthographic. This means that if I would select this one and I have a top view that is active, I'm actively working in this viewport and if I would click you see everything will change so the resolution your lighting and all the settings that you have down here will change but we won't switch the camera so this way you won't get annoyed while you're modeling and changing some setups and the third one always switch the viewport that is logged in the view to render um, render setup so if i would want to log down this viewport and this way whichever viewport I am so let's say I'm working on something on this one and if you would change it will always change the logged viewport that you have in your render settings if you use a lot of uh, interactive rendering with Corona and you're setup is getting heavy so you're loading in huge HDRIs or you're changing a lot of render setups then it's recommended to turn this up it will slow you down a little bit but what it does it will stop the interactive rendering uh, do whatever scene manager needs to do to switch your settings and then it will restart your uh, interactive rendering once we are done okay so the rest of the setup are the columns um, this is related to the setup list so if i would switch off these and turn on the frame then it will be reflected over here and you have your modules that are now also on the side uh, of the user interface but you can also turn these on here also you can save these modules as the default or you can reset the position of them and that was it it should be just enough information to get you started, so see you in the next chapter.